All right, welcome in the Snowcast. We thank you so much for watching. I'm meteorologist Steve Glazier here with you on SnowCountry.com. You may have seen meteorologist Karen Jerman last week. We're working in tandem this year to give you the greatest weather detail. What to expect? We're looking at the end of October here through Halloween. Where is the snow? So we have a couple of lows. We had one pass through Tuesday to Wednesday uh, this past, the 23rd, 24th of October. It, it dealt some snow here into New Hampshire and Maine especially. And we have another batch that's coming in with a nor'easter. We're going to talk about this here in just a couple of moments. Uh, not a true nor'easter, but still uh, interior New England, northern Maine can see some snow. And then we have another couple of disturbances. These, This is really Thursday, Friday here in the British Columbia. And then again on Sunday and Monday with that break on Saturday. And it starts to drift here. This is the place to watch for Tuesday, October 30th and uh, eventually into Wednesday, Halloween. So let's talk about the nor'easter. So this is really uh, our first coastal low that we have seen in this young season. And you may associate nor'easter just simply with snow. And it really just correlates to the northeast winds that we see. We're going to see more of an east-southeast to east wind here. And it's mostly, again, just a little too early to be all snow. For about a month from now, we'd be talking about a lot of snow. But in this case, it's just a little too warm. So predominantly look for rain here on Saturday the 27th. Areas that could see some snow out of it, the Adirondacks, the Northern Greens and Whites, and especially here into Maine. The state of Maine seems to have the best chance to see some snow. And then into Eastern Quebec, that's where some of the coldest air is. It's gonna be windy and wet. It does calm down a bit on Sunday. In terms of what we have seen, Again, uh, some excitement coming out from the Northeast on Tuesday and Wednesday, the 23rd and 24th of October. These are some of the images from Okemo uh, over to Wildcat and Sunday River. So that was exciting to see. And hopefully, again, with this new batch coming in with the Nor'easter, we can hopefully stay cold enough to get some snow. In terms of longer term, longer range outlook, it looks colder than average here along the East Coast still behind these low pressure systems. So active, yes, rain at times, but more so better chances for snow showers and below average temperatures through the end of the month and beginning of November, warmer across the West. In summary, we have that nor'easter riding up the East Coast on Saturday. Uh, look for, again, some high impacts there with wind, rain, and snow. And then the West sees a couple of systems coming through once again, uh, Thursday, Friday, then again on uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Otherwise, it's going to be mild and sunny. Snow making temperatures there pretty comfortable in the afternoon. We have about 10 resorts open at the last weekend of October, but exponentially that number will be rising in the next few weeks. So we hope you join us for much more weekly.